Good evening, everyone. Welcome to my channel. This is day five, session two. And I hope someone is going to eventually get to join me. If not, the purpose of this video is for me to be able to say the prayers that my father has um, commanded me to say, basically. And I'm here to obey. Okay, with that being said, um, it is 6.58, so let's start right away with our purpose, okay? So, for our purpose, our purpose is, is that is. <clears throat> excuse me um 2 chronicles seven fourteen. if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked way then i will hear from heaven forgive their sin and will heal their land every time i read that i just a prayer that I, I I just pray that everybody humbles themselves because the time, you know, he's calling out for this prayer. Um, I'm not going to say if the time is near the time. Is, I don't know when God's timing is. No one knows. And I'm not questioning. I just thank God that he always has provided me guidance. I mean, it's always there. So with that being said, it is 6.59. We are waiting for that 7 o'clock clock call because we have to be obedient and we have to say our prayer at, at this prayer at 7 p.m. Mm -hmm. And I hope everybody's doing well today. If someone ever gets to come on my channel. And also he did impression in my heart today that he really wants to start going live. So I'm still trying to figure that out. So even if no one comes to see me, I still have to go, um, start doing this prayer live, even though I always do it at 7 p.m. But that I know that he wants me to do. I love you. Such a powerful prayer. It's 7 p.m. So here we go. So put on the full armor of God for his precepts. For preparation are likely the splendid armor of heavenly armed soldiers so that we may be able to successfully stand up against all the schemes and strategies and the deceits of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, contending only with physical opponents but against the rulers, against powers, against the spiritual forces of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on the complete armor of God so that you will be able to successfully resist and stand firm in your place, fully prepared, immovable, victorious. Stand firm and hold your ground, having tightened, having tightened the wide band of truth around your waist and having put on the breastplate of righteousness an upright heart, personal integrity and morals, having strapped on your feet the gospel of peace in preparation to face the enemy with firm footed stability and the readiness produced by the good news. Above all, lift up the protective shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. With all prayer and petition, pray for the healing of God's people's minds to further restore God in their hearts, to then be able to save their souls all through the miracle of our glorious Father in heaven, through his beloved Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior. And this is where we intercede. And I'm going to pray again for Canada. It does look ugly, Canada, but I'm go we're going to keep... I hope everybody could join so we could pray and make this prayer stronger, please. But if anything, I know everybody up in... in in Canada is praying. Those are God-fearing people. And God has his hand over you. Let's just be patient. And let just, let's just have that knowledge that God will always take care of his children. Always take care of his children. So please, please stay strong. And we also pray for Australia. We pray for um, Paris. We pray for 
uh, Bogata. We pray for um, Venezuela. We pray for Cuba. We pray for um, um, the world. We pray praying for the world in a glow. We praying for for the whole world for healing. That's all I'm asking for. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my God Almighty. Okay, and let's finish the prayer. At all times, on every, on every occasion, and in every season in the spirit, and with this view, stay alert with all perseverance and petition, interceding in prayer for all God's people, and pray for me that words may be given to me when I open my mouth to proclaim boldly the mystery of the good news of salvation for which I am an, an ambassador in chains, and pray that in proclaiming it, I may speak boldly and courageously as I should. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, God Almighty. Thank you so much for your prayers. I don't know what happened to me when I was trying to um, think of the places that were in turmoil. Um, but, okay. And so then we have not finished there. Okay, we said our thing. We said, and then there's um, something else he wants me to read. And then from there, I can let you go because the whole purpose of this is to pray um, that prayer. We have a purpose. Okay. So the next thing he, he wanted me to um, read to you guys is Luke 8, 1. And is ministering women. So soon afterwards, Jesus began going around from one city and village to another, preaching and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom of the God. The 12 disciples were with him and also some women who had been healed of evil spirits and diseases. Mary called Magdalene from city of Magdala in Galilee, from whom seven demons had come out. And Johanna, the wife of Chusa, Herod's household, Stuart and Susanna, and many others who were contributing to their support out of their private means, as was the custom for Rabbi's disciples. And that is the word for today. Um, I can only thank my Lord for giving us this opportunity I, this is something I've been praying for always that some light that a light will be provided to guide us into our final days or to guide us to him before it's too late. And may God bless everyone. May he walk with you, each and every one of you. You are all beautiful beings and you're so beautiful. And, and powerful, please do not forget that. And again, we're going to keep this short. I'm getting better. I'm at 828. Ah, that's a good thing. May God be with you. Bendición.